Welcome back, everybody. Twilight the Princess versus. Welcome back, everybody. Twilight the Princess versus. It's the best damn version that anybody's ever watched. <laughs> <laughs> okay, think, Elvis. <laughs> I think I'm our next generation, our new generation's Elvis Presley, honestly. <laughs> oh, yeah. I think no. I'm that iconic, you know? Oh, Netflix. for sure. No, you're definitely that iconic. That's that's n Nobody's denying that you're just as iconic as Elvis Presley, <laughs> the king of rock and roll. It's because of the way I move my hips. <laughs> oh, yeah, sure. That's that's it. <laughs> Oh man, welcome back to the fucking stupid versus thing. Yeah, um, I'm currently riding my butt plug. I'm currently running into the wall? What? Yeah. Fuck you, horse. <laughs> Epona is actually somewhat difficult to control when you're moving really fast in this game. I know, right? Especially when you're going through nar narrow caverns. Nair caverns. Yeah. <laughs> nair caverns. Get some hair removal. Narrow up in these nair caverns. caverns. <laughs> so is that when you put nair on your vagina and then just <laughs> <laughs> you get a little, you get a little inside and it's, it's uncomfortable. <laughs> yeah, it starts to burn fizzle a little bit, like some fajitas. <laughs> Man, I hate when my vagina fizzles like a fajita. <laughs> fizzles like a fajita. <laughs> I meant to say sizzles. I said fizzles, oh. now I'm thinking of Magic School Bus with Miss Frizzle. Well, now I'm thinking of fajitas, but naming them Vegetas because it's a vagina fajita. But Vegeta <laughs> is from Dragon Ball, so it it's even more meta. <laughs> Vegeta, wasn't that like the name of one of the first Let's Players, too? Uh, I think so, yeah. Or was it Zegeta? It's Ze oh yeah, you're right, I think it is Zegeta. I don't, I don't I know, I've never really watched. I like vaguely Zegeta. remember his name, but I forget what he did. Man, old school Let's Players. The very first one I ever like heard of, apart from my friend who did it in uh, junior high, was Deceased Crab. <laughs> deceased Crab. Uh, good, good old Deceased Crab. And I thought he was like really, really boring and bland. I mean, they all Which, were. Let's be honest. We all were, actually. I feel like we all were. It's true. He but, was a bit more. He was more of like a cynical older man, I think. I mean, he might have been older man. I might have, I might be like mixing other Let's Players up in my head. I think that's uh, I think that's the thing. Did you start a timer, by the way? Yes, I oh, always start oh, my timer, okay. Josh. I always come prepared. <laughs> I mean, I have video evidence of you not starting your timer, so. <laughs> um, I don't want to hear about it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I did. Oh, I so, guess what? Guess what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what type of reaction is that? <laughs> I don't know. I was just repeating what you said. No. So I got a new job, which is really cool. Are you having fun at your new job? Yes. I'm actually, I'm a server at a Japanese hibachi restaurant. Like one of those restaurants oh, where they cook dude. everything in front of you. Where there's hibachi. like a huge fire and they make the onion volcano. They do all like the flips and stuff with their spatulas. Dude, hibachi is so good, man. It is. It is so expensive, though. I can't believe how much we charge for our meals. Our cheapest meal is sixteen dollars. Whoa, really? I mean, that's yeah. kind of like I don't know. For like a high-end restaurant, I would say that that's normal, right? I wouldn't really call it high-end, though. I think uh, it's just the concept that they cook it in front of. Okay, I'm gonna send. So I'm gonna expensive. send this audio recording to your bosses. <laughs> <laughs> How about you I wouldn't don't? really call it high end. <laughs> it really isn't though. It's more of a family establishment. I would feel. I mean, you can have a high end family establishment. I guess it's true. It's, it's definitely high end for a family establishment. <laughs> <laughs> but there's like, it's not like there's other restaurants that I would consider way more high end than where I work. Oh, it's definitely high end. Like, I feel like it's not, it doesn't feel very high end because they don't put up very many decorations because they said if they did, they would just get really greasy from all the grease that's like floating in the air when you have, because like, you have that's all so of the stoves up. in the actual restaurant. Oh my god. <laughs> what? If you what get, are you laughing at? Sorry, if you get hit on this bridge, this motherfucker knocks your, you and your horse off the bridge. Yeah, <laughs> not the horse, just you. No, 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 the horse fell off the bridge too. Wait, really? <laughs> Yes! Do it I, again. I, no, I'm not going to do it again. I've already gotten hit way too many times on this stupid thing. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. You knocked off the fat bastard. Like, I can't believe you're already beating him. Damn, I need to really catch up. <laughs> you need to really mustard, dude. I really need to... 
I really need to seafood sauce. You really need to relish in my success. Seafood sauce is the only condiment I know of now because of working <laughs> at the Hibachi Steakhouse. It's the only condiment you know. Yeah. I, I'm kind of getting... I'm already getting kind of sick at looking at it because... It's just like a mayonnaise-based sauce, and it's really, really delicious. Like, I love it. I could drink the stuff, but at the same time... Oh, my God. Like, I think the more you're around a certain particular food, the more you kind of get tired of it, especially when it's a daily basis. No, I get that, dude. I get that. I definitely yeah. understand. And, it, like, it, like I, I imagine that's how people feel. Like, they start to work at, like, some restaurant, like, a, like Chipotle or something, and they just, like, Chipotle is the greatest thing in the world, and then you get free Chipotle all the time. And then suddenly and then you just get so sick of it. So yeah. sick of it. Yeah, no, I get that. I get that feels. Dude, the worst part about my job, though, is the fucking sushi chefs. <laughs> you want to keep you want to keep talking about your job publicly? That, that's going to go over well. <laughs> oh, no. Like I we talk about how bad they are. Like that's like the common like conversation topic at the restaurant. So the reason they're bad is because they are assholes. So. They'll make mistakes and they'll like get mad at you for it. So <laughs> okay. a couple days ago, I had a table and they ordered two different types of sushi. One was called the typhoon roll and the other was the spider. And I had never seen either of those rolls before because I had just started working there and they don't like show us all the sushis. You have to kind of like figure it out and like ask them and stuff. And so they gave me the first roll and I asked them, I'm like, is this the typhoon roll? And they and the, the sushi chef said yes. So I'm like, okay, and I took it to the person who ordered the typhoon roll. And then I went back to the sushi chef, and he had, I'm like, all right, is this the spider roll? And he said, no, this is the typhoon roll. And I'm like, you told me the other one was the typhoon roll. He's like, well, no, this is the typhoon roll. I'm like, well, I need to get another spider roll because you gave, I took it to the wrong person because you told me differently. And he's like, no, you should know what it is. And I'm like, motherfucker, <laughs> how the fuck am I supposed to know what this is when I've never seen it before? There's a reason I fucking asked you. And he's <laughs> like, <a> dick. <laughs> and he's like, well, you pay for it full price. And I'm like, uh, what? You want me to pay full price for sushi that like, because like, for your mistake, he's like, well, you should know what it is. I'm like, dude, shut the fuck up. <laughs> Did you actually it's swear so at stupid. Him? No, I didn't swear at him, but that's like what I thought in my head. Oh, okay. I'm like very, I'm a very docile person. I don't really actually yell at people in real life. Next time, yell at him. <laughs> I want to see what I, happens. I probably would next time because <laughs> it was, it was ridiculous. And then like, I was talking to the cashier who's like kind of, not the owner, but she's like in charge more so. And the sushi chef like walked up three times and he's like this old grumpy Chinese man. And he said like three separate times, like, make sure you pay full price for sushi. And like full price is double the amount they pay to actually make it because they make like twice as much profit from it. And I'm like, why don't you want me to just pay for like the actual ingredients that cost to make it up? Why do you want to profit off of your mistake? Like that's so stupid. Yeah, what a dick. That's so, that's so stupid. <laughs> yeah, the cashier didn't make me pay for it. <laughs> that's good. That's, that's good at least. So it sounds like the sushi chefs feel like they own the place. Yeah, it's, and that's, like, not the, like, it happens at least every day to somebody. Like, the sushi chefs just do something really stupid. Also, I can't help but notice that you just keep saying sushi. Sushi? <laughs> yeah. I, I keep saying it wrong, sushi. <laughs> I'm getting, I'm getting kind of sick again, which seems to be a really common thing. God and it's it, just though. really hard for me to talk in general right now. Okay, well then, stop talking. Okay. All right. Thanks, Tyler. I'm glad that you stopped talking now so that I can take over the entirety of the commentary and nobody has to listen to your stupid shrill voice. My stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. I just, how, uh, how sick do I sound? Do I sound too sick? You, you sound moderately sick, but it's not like a big deal. You don't I sound think it's like just because so I've been talking so much recently. <clears throat> yeah, well, I, uh, I actually started feeling a little bit sick. Like Whenever I start to feel sick, I actually like kind of... I don't know, my body goes into, like, overdrive, and I just get better, I guess. I don't know. I have a really good immune system, so. Yeah, I don't... I feel I, I feel like I should have a good immune system because I eat relatively healthily. I work out a lot. I don't um, know. Some people just can't be as gifted as me. It's true. You are <laughs> gifted. You truly are. I really am. Okay, so, real fast, in the game, I'm going to try to do something that I find hilarious. With this very first Goron, my, I like to try to hit my horse with the Goron after I throw it down <laughs> this ledge. Okay. So, 
So I'm gonna try. Man, it. we're just abusing your opponent today. I I got opponent knocked off a fucking cliff. Now you're gonna hit hit opponent with a with a with a gore on a giant a rock, man. rock man. Yeah. He's really getting beat up. Dude, Rockman is the Japanese name for Mega Man. Did you know that? I didn't. Now, now you know. Because he's the king of rock and roll. Is he Jack Black? Uh, <laughs> yes. Jack Black is definitely the king of rock and roll. <laughs> Com completely, 100%. Did I hit it? Did I hit it? Yes! <laughs> it literally pushes the opponent out of the way. That is so good. Such good stuff, man. Oh, shit. Almost as good as that seafood sauce. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Delicious mayonnaise-based seafood sauce. I was told I haven't actually seen them make it yet, but I was told that if you watch them make it, you'll never want to eat seafood sauce again, just because they just make so much at a time. And for some reason, just watching somebody make so much of a sauce at one time, it's just kind of gross. It's like a giant container as big as a trash can. Yeah, well, I'm glad you bring that up, actually, because I think that that's, like, true for a lot of things. Like, when you see, like, all of this, um, all of these, like, how it's made type things with, like, factories and that kind of thing, and just seeing, like, so much of the thing that you eat being produced at once, for some reason, that's just really weirdly gross. Hot dogs is one of the grossest ones. But I'll still eat hot dogs. I don't really care how it's made. I'll still eat whatever. I'm a fucking disgusting person. Shove whatever I can into my face hole. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse you? No, come on. Stop doing stupid stuff. Come on. Come on. Why why would you why would you automatically go to retreat? It doesn't make any sense. Yeah, that's really stupid. Also, that <laughs> Goron's titties are the grossest thing ever. <laughs> He's got little rock titties, dude. Little rock titties. <laughs> yeah, they're really, really gross. You know you love it. Yeah, kind of. Loki. Ugh. Like the god of like yeah, whenever I say mischief. Loki, I always think of the guy from <laughs> Thor. <laughs> yeah, he's 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 like the god of mischief or something. You're the god of mischief. I mean, you're not wrong. I, I get into a lot of trouble these days. Dude, you're a bad boy, Mr. Jepson. Fucking hitting mailboxes with... You said you're going to the dentist bats. after this. Have you been a good boy and brushed your teeth twice a day? Every single day? Most of days, yeah. <laughs> Have you been flossing? Uh, I haven't flossed in a while now. They're gonna probably scold me. I hope they but give you a I'm not. I, I'm, I don't know why I'm being weird. <laughs> you get what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I haven't been to the dentist in a long time. Um, we were just talking about this before the recording, but I, I haven't been to the dentist in four and a half years. <laughs> yeah, I went to the dentist last week for my first time in five years. I, my in my defense, I didn't know that I was covered. Like I was covered, but I didn't know that. Uh, I thought I had no dental insurance, and I was like, I don't want to go and pay like two hundred dollars for a cleaning. I still don't so. have dental insurance. I just found a really good deal, like in a pamphlet that was like seventy five percent <laughs> off for X rays and cleaning. And then awesome. you went to and then you went to Mexico and got it done for yeah. free in a tent. Went, <laughs> it's true. It for, a for like twenty dollars instead of using anesthesia. And it's, what's the word? Anesthesia. Anesthesia. They just use tequila. <laughs> they just use tequila. Yeah. Tequila anesthesia. And then they, they like pried my teeth apart with a tortilla chip that I've been sitting out for too long. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> the, the whole idea of me like a Mexican dentist just having all of his tools made out of Mexican food is hilarious to me. That'd be so delicious. You just have your enchilada face mask. <laughs> Dude, I'd, I'd love an enchilada face mask. I'd probably eat it, though. Instead of using accident. toothpaste, they use some fiery salsa, and it just scalds the <laughs> germs off of your teeth. <laughs> Dude, if, if that's the case, then I should definitely have really clean teeth, because I just eat I eat hot sauce all the goddamn time. Yeah, Dude, I, chips and salsa are just, like, my number one weakness when it comes to food. Yeah. I'm not a huge fan of chips and salsa, but I will put hot sauce on literally anything. You're like Beyonce. She has hot sauce in her bag. Beyonce what now? Beyonce what? Are you trying to make a pun? Beyonce what now? Did you Beyonce? <laughs> we already said that like in episode one, I think. But it was a really funny <laughs> pun. Hit so. me, bitch. Come on. <laughs> Hit me, bitch. Hit me, baby, one more time. I've also noticed you can save time by walking into this cutscene while with your iron boots on. I know. I was going to do it, and I was like not sure where the cutscene started. So yeah, I was if you like, don't, then you automatically lose the very first fight against the Goron, 
and you have to yeah. put your iron boots on and then talk to him again and then go through that whole entire thing where he asks you if you want to fight and the first option is retreat <laughs> so you can't yeah. even spam through it yeah i fucked that up i i knew that too and i i went into it with like with the express idea that I was going to activate the cutscene with it, but I didn't want to walk across the whole room with my iron boots on. But the cutscene activates right at the beginning of the room rather than up close to the Gorons. And I was just dumb. Damn, dude, you have, like, such a good lead right now. Yeah, well, I'm going to need it. Probably, but still, like, seriously, I don't... <laughs> <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Fuck off. I was watching you practice before this. Unless you were trying to, like, psych me out and do that thing. What's dude, I was. I was trying to psych you out, man. Oh shit, I was totally watching your screen while I was... <laughs> Good job. Oh god, I suck at this fight sometimes though. Oh, the sumo wrestling shit. Oh, here. Okay, here we go, here we go. Look at his gray, crusty ass lips. He needs to use some lip balm. <laughs> he also needs some like, I don't know, like conditioner. <laughs> Look at his hair. <laughs> Is that even hair? Can we even call that hair? I think he has rock hair. Rock hair. Damn That's it. Not, he's got a bad case of the rock hair. Dwayne the Rock Johnson hair. He doesn't even have hair. <laughs> the other I was going to say, Dwayne Johnson, like, shaves his head. True. I think he's just bald. I don't think Well, I mean, it. yeah, but then you shave the rest of it so that you don't look like a, like a weird old man. Mm -hmm. No offense to anybody who has weird old man hair. How many old men watch our videos? <laughs> Wait. Shout out to all our old men viewers. <laughs> I think that's the exact opposite of the audience we attract to our videos is old men. <laughs> yeah, exactly. No. Ugh, come on! I suck at this segment. Like, sometimes I can do well. Like, these sumo wrestling segments are half skill, half luck, because it's like a rock, paper, scissors type deal. Dude, is it a rock, paper, scissors type deal? Yeah, you it is. You just have to time it really well. No, it's rock, paper, scissors, because, like, I'm pretty sure slapping trumps uh, dodging, and then, like, dodging trumps something else. It's, it's weird. Oh, okay. That's weird. I didn't, I actually didn't notice it. I beat it really fast, so I don't know. <laughs> oh my god, get stop it. We like ran into each other three times in a row. <laughs> okay. Three at a time, every single time, man. I love how you can see like the Goron's Ruby logo like all over the the dungeon here. That's pretty cool. Is it the Ruby, the Goron Ruby from Ocarina of Time? Yeah, but like the little logo, the little logo, the Goron logo is all over. Ah! Ah! Oko is so gross. Uko's got some 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 bird titties, man. Some some hook titties. They really like showing off titties and ass in this game. I know, right? TNA, man. But that's why it's rated T, man. This this is the only Zelda game to ever be rated T. Yeah, I mean, I understand why. Even these Gorons, they're just wearing speedos, showing off their big rock cocks. Big rock cocks, amazing. I don't think I want to see Goron rock cock. I wonder how much how much rule 34 there is for Gorons. <laughs> there probably is some at the very least. Do you think that Gorons are erect all the time? <laughs> <laughs> yes, there was rock hard. <laughs> Dwayne the rock hard. Let's get run through that fire because fuck that shit. Oh, I'm going the uh, I'm, I'm going the Wii version way. Good lord, I need to not do that in my brain. <laughs> yeah, for real though. Also, like, there I, is a glitch in this game and the Wii version and the GameCube version. I'm pretty like I'm like 95% sure they fixed it for the HD version. But while you're being sucked up to the ceiling by those magnets. If you switch from your iron boots to a different item in your item slot, it would allow you to run around on the ceiling at like full speed instead of having to trudge slowly through it. And then they fixed it. Now I'm really sad because I was gonna like use the glitch and not tell you about it. And then... <laughs> well, I mean, I had already been told about the glitch during my live stream practice stuff, um, but then I had learned that it was only, it was not available in this version of the game. Unless it is and you're just trolling me right now. That would be hilarious. Yeah, I'm totally trolling you. Lots of people are upset that we're not able to, like, lie about our location in the game during this versus. I don't know why people would be upset about that. That's, uh, like, it's honestly, like, it's funny for two seconds, and then it's awful for the rest of the fucking episode slash series. Yeah, and besides, we haven't even done that in, like, five or six verses at least. It, in because fact, we, actually, made a, we made a rule against doing that because it was just annoying for us, actually. Yeah, we made we made a we made an unspoken rule. Like we didn't like tell anybody about it. I don't think. Um, but yeah, we made an unspoken rule that was like, yeah, we just can't lie to each other about where we're at. And because then, because then it like it, the urgency of a race is what makes it 
fun, I think. And if you know where the other person is, there's a little bit more urgency, and the other person can play a little bit better, you know what I mean? By, like, by just sheer will, you know? Yeah, it's like when you're watching, like, a race in real life, like, in track. It's a lot better when you do it with everybody on the same track, so you can, <laughs> yeah, so yeah, you, you can see your opponents. You, you and, wouldn't like, have progress. people like ra <laughs> everybody in their own like covered stall going around doing it, doing it separately. Yeah, or everybody doing it separately and not being able to see where each other's are at because then it's no. like it's not as much fun. Don't pick up the fucking rock, dude. I'm just trying to side jump over this shit. No. Wait, what do you mean side jump over that shit? I was trying what to take a shortcut, over? but I was. Okay, you failed. I really did. Wow! <laughs> You're a speedrunner for sure, Tyler. <laughs> I did this I did this fine on my practice file. Link. I ended up wasting more time with trying to do that overall than <laughs> Okay. Solid job, man. No! Solid okay, job. I'm not trying it again. Fuck! Damn it! I fell in the lava twice. This is unacceptable, man. Unacceptable. Should I try to do it again? No. Yes. <laughs> no. <laughs> yes, you should definitely try to do it uh, like three more times even. <laughs> I'd be Keep done trying, with this room dude. by now. <laughs> I'm to wait for this lava to go by. God fucking poop. God, God, what? Can't, wait, hey, that's actually a really great question. Can God poop? No, that's impure. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. That's not a question for me. I don't know. I just thought it I just thought that would ask your pastor. Ask your pastor. Does God poop? <laughs> <laughs> I wonder what he would say. I wonder what a pastor would say about God pooping. He said that's a really crappy question. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh yes. Oh no. Sorry, I just can't stop thinking about God pooping. I don't know what's going <laughs> stop on. Stop thinking about it, Josh. <laughs> I don't know what's going on in my head right now, man. Think about different thoughts. He has like the <laughs> best. He has like the most royal toilet seat to ever exist. <laughs> a giant golden toilet seat in the sky. He has sure. a bidet as well. <laughs> yeah, that's what happens when it rains. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> it's just him using the bidet and then it sprays all over you. Yeah, I know it's really gross, huh? There's yep. a lot of gross shit in rain, man. I remember like Literally. all those like things you you like talk about when you were a kid. Like thunder is the sound of angels bowling. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> been there, done that. Oh, and I would say lightning is the angels flashing their titties, and angels have just such <laughs> beautiful titties that it just creates lightning. You're a very holy, man, Tyler. You're a very holy, man. <laughs> I am very holy. I'm going to heaven <laughs> for sure, dude. <laughs> That's where I belong. Oh man, just kidding. All my friends are heathens, don't you know? Oh, I didn't know that. Oh, actually, no, I, I did know that. I've met them. <laughs> you have met them. Yeah, they are pretty heathenic. Heathenous? Heathenous. Heathenistic? Heathentastic. <laughs> Heathentastic. Oh, God, get this thing out of my hands. Gross. Link is like, I don't even want to touch it, so he just has to like, levitate in his hands instead. Wait, what does he not want to touch? Oh, the... Uku. Oh, I was going to say, the, the gross, uh, the key... <laughs> from the Goron. I was like, what? Oh, yeah. Um, the Goron's been using it to, like, clog his toilet. No, and to grab girls by the pussy. Oh, gross. Why did you go there, Tyler? Because I always go there, Josh. Oh, you horrible, horrible human being. I'm gonna replace you with somebody else. Is that joke getting old? Replace <laughs> me replacing... with The Rock. <laughs> <laughs> Dwayne The Rock Johnson? I mean, he has a YouTube channel now. Yeah, I mean, he he's, was been, in YouTube he's been doing a lot of stuff recently. I feel like he's everywhere, so I feel like he would... I feel like he would do it. I think there's like five of him. So. There must be. They must have cloned him. I mean, there's no other way for him to be in, like featured in so many things so often. Uh, I mean, he could just be... He actually could be a time wizard. Oh, you know, that's probably it, actually. That makes a lot more sense. <laughs> <laughs> wow, sassy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's my middle name. Just trying to make a joke, man. Come on. Tyler Sassy Wall. <laughs> Tyler Sassy Wall? Yeah. Do you like it? No, I fucking hate it. <gasps> take it back. Take it back, take it back, take it back now. Take it back, bring it back, bring it back now. <laughs> bear new, back, bear back, bear back now. Oh, God. Uh, take a no. trip for the worse. 
I'm okay. I'm fine <laughs> with the way that things are. <laughs> <laughs> no, you can't be complacent. I'm fine. I'm fine with uh. Never mind. What I'm, <laughs> never mind. I'm, I'm not really wanting to catch up right now, but I can't when I can only walk at two miles per hour. <laughs> bum, 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 bum. I, I wish really the glitch hoping, worked so bad. I was really hoping that you were just trolling me and you actually did the glitch, if, they, if it was possible. I feel like it would have been like a good idea for them to keep the glitch in because for people who want to like play the game more quickly and who are like really experienced, we don't want to be spending seven hours walking slowly across the ceiling. I almost feel like speedrunning has actually opened up an avenue for developers to release HD remakes with all of the speedrunning glitches fixed. Because that's what they did with Wind Waker HD. Like, all of the major glitches that made that game fast, like, they, they removed. But they actually didn't completely remove them. They just kind of patched them up a little bit. And, and it turns out the speedrunners are way smarter and way faster than, than Nintendo at fixing that stuff. So they, they, they were able to, like figure out ways to do all of these glitches again. So I'm sure that the Twilight Princess runners will figure it out. See, I don't fully understand the point of them fixing those types of glitches and patches because I feel like I feel like it almost be like a cool thing for game developers to do is add in really complicated weird glitches like that that like a normal player would never come across, but that you could only come across if you completely like try to break the game. I think they do that stuff in Dark Souls because Dark Souls is like a really trolly game, and I think that they have like really weird like intentionally put in like not glitches necessarily but secrets that are like so obscure that nobody would ever be able to figure them out mm -hmm. so I, I wouldn't i don't have an example but i, I know it's a very troll like game i never played dark souls what, neither have i what system is it for it's for pc and xbox like one slash ps4 but the the earlier ones are for like xbox 360 and ps3 okay well my new roommate I actually have two completely new roommates now um, there's Chris and Jasmine. Oh, you finally ditched Squill. Yep, Squill is gone. It's oh, sad, fuck actually. fuck that guy. It's <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> fuck Squill. Jesus. Gross. No. Um, then he moved out. He's in the Philippines right now for three months for job training for his dad's company. And I have a new roommate, Jasmine. She's actually... We're probably going to make some YouTube videos together, possibly on my channel, because we both... Me and her are kind of like me and my old friend, Julie. Like, we click really well. We're really, like... Are able to play off each other like you and I like we have just a really good like, conversation <laughs> flow. Oh, oh that you meant you meant that. Oh, okay. No, it's like it's like there's no awkwardness <laughs> when talking. There's like always something going on with our conversations. That's pretty cool, man. That's cool. That's cool. You got a friend like that. I know that you need them. <laughs> uh, yeah, because I have no other friends. Um, yeah, she's really cool. I dance with her a lot, and then my other roommate is actually Bins friend from high school Chris and he's really cool too and he actually he's in New York for the next month for Christmas and Dude, New York that's tight man yeah I'm really jealous cause I've never been there I really want to go though like so bad but he said I could use his Xbox one while he's gone so I'm gonna play some Far Cry 4 dude Far Cry 4 man I actually didn't play Far Cry 4 as much as I wanted to I 100 percent at Far Cry 3 I think <laughs> That's actually kind of impressive. That game's a big game. It is. Um, it took me a while. I didn't 100% it. I think there's like some aspect of the game. You know like how when uh, Assassin's Creed, how there's like a really annoying collectible that's nearly impossible to collect. It's like the flags or something. Yes. Well, Assassin's Creed is something. I mean, Far Cry is something pretty similar to that. Like it's almost impossible to collect them all. What there's, like, there's like 200 of them. What is it? In Far Cry 3? Yeah. I think they're like relics or something. Yeah, I never finished Far Cry 3. I, I played like a good chunk of it, and then I for some reason never finished. I actually got an early copy of Far Cry Wait, 3. Wait, did you just beat that guy? Yeah. How come when you were practicing, you were sucking a bunch of ass? <laughs> His head looks like a Teletubby. <laughs> <laughs> and, wow. and an onion at the same time. That was like a really quick change in thought pattern there. Sorry, I just saw it, and it... I had it spouted out. <laughs> My voice is getting relatively more raspy as this episode goes on. I mean, that's okay. We're really close to the end of the episode anyway. Yeah, I'm like trying to push it through, and I just keep like talking louder and louder. <laughs> push it through, Tyler! Push it! Oh! 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 <laughs> oh, I can skip this cutscene. Oh, no, I can't. Never mind. Some cutscenes you can skip. It's really weird. There are some cutscenes you can skip and some you can't. It's really strange. It's Doctor Strange, man. Doctor Strange. Did you ever see that? 
No, I want to so bad. It's already in like the top 30 highest grossing movies of all time. I want to see the new Star Wars. That's all I, I care about. I honestly can't even believe that movie's out. I haven't seen like no trailers for that or any promotion anywhere whatsoever. Really? Yeah. Oh, you're, you're just missing out. There was only two trailers, I think. But I guess um, I don't really follow or pay attention, but still. Anyways, on that note, we are at the very end of this episode, so stop playing your game. Okay, okay. I was trying to figure out how to activate these motherfuckers, and it wouldn't work for some reason. We'll figure it out next episode. Enough. Figure, figure it out next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Josh Jepson. And my name is Tyler, and we will finger you out next episode. <laughs> <laughs>